Hello all and welcome to Coffee with Marcy. So I want to talk to you guys, alright? So you want to get your house painted. You hire a contractor to paint your house, they tell you it's going to take a week. Then it's a couple of weeks, then it's a month. I know we've all been there. But what if I tell you there's a company out there that can do it in a day? It's called Wow One Day Painting. And I have the franchise owner, Justin Griffin, here to talk with us about it. He is the franchise owner in Bergen County and Westchester County. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, thank you for having me. It's great to have you on the show and talk about what you do. And I love the fact that you can actually complete a job in one day. Yeah, no, it's uh, thank you for having us. And, yeah. Uh, it is the, the million dollar question is how do you do it? But, uh, you know, um, it, it is, uh, it's just a process. And yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it is a lot of fun. Yeah. We're going to talk about that, but I want to talk about you first. Okay. So let's talk about what brought you to this place to be a franchise owner. So you've had some background in painting sure, yeah. and in business, but let's talk about that. Yeah, so, um, you know, I had the pleasure of working all through high school and college in the summer mm -hmm. for a local house painter. Uh, I learned a lot from him and I uh, put myself through college that way. Um, after college, I went into the corporate field and I uh, started working in sales. Mm -hmm. you know, we, I worked for a trade show company for um, you know about eight, nine years there. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be my own boss, uh, but I didn't really know how to do it. Um, so when I saw the opportunity about Wow One Day Painting, I said, okay, well, I know painting, yeah. I know sales, but I don't really know how to run a business yet. Right. So that's why I opted to, to go the franchise route. Right, so they had the model in place for you. Yeah, absolutely. And then you took your background and put it into the business. Yeah. So let's talk about Wow One Day Painting. Sure. I love talking about yeah. Wow One Day Painting. Yeah, I want to hear about yeah. it. Tell us about that. So Wow One Day Painting, basically what it is, is we are residential and commercial painter, mm -hmm. uh, painting contractors. And what we try to do is respect your time. Uh, getting your house painted can be an ordeal. Yeah, as you, absolutely. You know, having any contractor work in your house can, yeah. can be an ordeal. And uh, what we try to do is we try to limit that, that pain in the neck factor for you yeah. by completing projects quicker than uh, a normal contractor would. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite simple. It's, there's no magic paint wand that we wave and it comes in and transforms your room. Mm -hmm. um, but really what we do is we have four... Um, focus areas that really help drive our business and help complete jobs in one day. Uh, the first is um, big crews. I mean, there's no, yeah. uh, you know, uh, there's, there's no easy way to get painting done, uh, a large amount of painting without the uh, amount of people that you right. need. So, yeah. you know, we believe that many hands make light work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the second thing that we, that we really try to focus on is, it's just really exceptional communication. So being very clear from the moment that the customer calls into our 800 number and books an estimate right up until the end and you know meets with our project manager and, and reviews the scope of the work we try to be really clear about what we're doing and why so okay. we really try to set those expectations um, the third thing that we do is um, you know you saw our logo it's got a, a smiley face built like right smiley into face. it yes. um, but we really adopted that culture so our our painters are friendly, they're uniformed, they look good, and, you know, above all else, they, they treat your home with respect. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then the last and final way that we really do that is um, we do what we say we're going to do. So if we tell you that we're going to be done with your project by 5 o'clock, we, we try our best and really try to meet those expectations. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, again, it, it just it goes back to just good communication and, and respect for the customer. I think that's amazing because I think a lot of people put off doing projects because they're so fearful of that. Yeah. And you really don't have any kind of, well, you can get references, but a lot of sure. times you don't know about the background, you don't know what they're going to be like in your home, and then again, they say they're going to be there or it's going to be in this amount of time and that doesn't happen that way. Yeah, it, it can be a challenge. And, and what I've found is, you know, especially in here in North Jersey, is that a lot of customers have their guard up when it mm -hmm. comes to, to contractors. And yeah. so we really try to do things to, to put them at ease and make them feel a little bit more comfortable with, you know, working with us, but, you know, allowing, you know, us to come in and service their home. So uh, one of the unique things that we do, um, 
you know, which is a little different for the industry standard is mm -hmm. we don't take deposits on our work. So let's say we're going to paint five rooms in your house and, you know, I say, you know, it, it's going to be done in a day and, yeah. you know, I don't want any of your money up front. I want to start the job, finish the job, mm -hmm. review it with you, make sure you're happy and then settle up payment. And I know that sounds like a small, uh -huh. uh, you know, maybe it sounds like a, you know, a minor thing, but it really does put the customer at ease. And I, I do think it's a... It's I, a, it's I believe a that. Way. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a, you know, a fair business practice. Mm -hmm. And that's what it comes down to. I've certainly heard the stories of people giving a deposit and then the person never comes back. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and, you know, there are projects that are multi-day projects for us. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you're talking about painting exteriors or something like that, where just the inherent process will take longer than a day. Mm -hmm. Setting it up this way, it allows you to feel comfortable that we are going to, you know, start and finish, but it also incentivizes us to finish your project to work consecutive days because yes. we, we would like to get paid at the end of the job right. as well. Right, exactly. So it just, it, you know, in, in my opinion, it just creates a better relationship between contractor and homeowner. And, you know, that's that's really what it is. And Right. Yeah. I mean, so if someone gives you a call and mm -hmm. you've come to their home and you take a look at the job mm -hmm. that they're anticipating that they're wanting, but you recognize there's more work that needs to be done. What do you do in that case? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we can, obviously during the estimate, again, all about setting clear expectations. So we would mm -hmm. go through with them and we'd tell them if something needs to be repaired and it's gotta be done in advance of us painting, we'll, we'll do that. Um, mm -hmm. If there's something else that needs to be done, let's say that there needs to be some electrical work done or something like that. Uh -huh. um, we, uh, you know, I've been in North Jersey my entire life. I was born and raised in Waldwick. My uh -huh. roots are here. That's awesome. Um, so I know a lot of people and trusted industry partners. So okay. if somebody needs a good reference, I have no problem picking up the phone and, and or giving them a, a business card of a, a friend or a colleague that mm -hmm. I trust. You know, okay, I mean, I'm right. never going to recommend somebody that I don't trust all the way because, right. you know, then you can you can get in trouble. That yeah. Way. yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah. That's... And in talking with you, you do a little more work than just the painting and the spackling and all of that. If we there's do. more work that needs to be done, you, yeah, you can we'll handle that? Exactly. So, you know, there, there are other uh, aspects that come along with it. So if someone needs crown molding put in or mm -hmm. new baseboards, um, new, f new flooring, we can also offer those services as well. Okay. Yeah. And how about pricing? Yeah, so you're it's, competitive. I, I do yeah. feel we are competitive, mm -hmm. um, you know, for the value that we provide. So, you know, if you got 10 painters to come to your house, I feel that we would be sort of right in the middle, maybe, maybe a little higher than the middle of the pack. Um, I, we're definitely not the cheapest, but we're not the most expensive either. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I, like I said, I think for the value that we provide, mm -hmm. you know, that's one thing about growing up in this area. I do, you know, believe in it, and I even feel the same way is that uh, I don't mind paying for good service, you know well, what I mean? Well, you kind of um, get what you pay for a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, and so, that can, you know, that can happen. So, right. you know, I feel really comfortable about the, the price point where we are in the industry, um, mm -hmm. you know, based on the value we bring. Great. Yeah. And so you do cover Bergen County and Westchester now. We do, yeah. Westchester, yeah. Is a, uh, Westchester County, New York is a new venture for us. Uh, mm -hmm. We're expanding as we grow. Uh, right. And um, we're really excited about the opportunity to service customers there. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, yeah. you know more work on our plate and yeah. less sleep for me, but it's good though. That's it's good. Uh, it's it's all. I hope that works out for yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you have family that works with you. I do. Right. I do. Yeah. Um, it's uh, you know it's important to to put people around you that you trust. Yes. And you know um, I've said this about our business or any business, it's all about your people. Mm -hmm. You know and. Um, my wife helps us out. She does all of our bookkeeping and our administrative work. So somebody I obviously trust. Yes. Um, and then my, my younger brother, Cameron, uh, joined the team this year as well. Awesome. And he's my uh, project manager. So yeah. he um, is out in the field dealing with customers and, and sort of that go between between the customer and the crew mm -hmm. and uh, ensuring that you know the, the processes are followed and the, that yeah. we have happy customers. So yeah, it's really Great. good to have them by my side. And you know, that being said, I also, you know, my dad is, uh, you know, an advisor to me always. And yeah. my mom is super supportive. She's right. my ultimate networker. Yeah. So, awesome. you know, yeah, so it's good. And I know that my viewers will want to know, how do you find the people that work for you? So we, um, we do um, a 
combination of things to find employees. So, you know, the traditional online advertising, mm -hmm. um, you know, is one way, but honestly, the best way to get and find good employees is through the employees that you already have that mm -hmm. are really good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you talk to them and say, hey, you know, this is working out great between us. We really like what you're doing here. Yeah. Do you have any friends that might need a job or a, yeah. a family member? Uh, we'd love for you to, you know, bring them, bring them by. And I feel it's twofold. You know, we know that you know, somebody is, you know, obviously feels strongly enough about them to recommend them. Yes. But on the flip side, one of my employees, they got to feel confident in recommending them as well. So, yeah, yeah so it works out. So I, I would say that, you know, just internal networking and, and um, you know, referrals is the best way to, to get good people. And you really like to invest in your employees, right? You want yeah. it to be part of your family, your business, right? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, you know, uh, I, again, I said it before, it's, it's all about people. And, you know, we've, we've had some, we've hired painters with zero painting experience. You know, mm -hmm. never picked up a brush before. And we've trained them and taught them the way things go and, mm -hmm. and um, showed them that there's a career path beyond just painting. You know, you right. can learn, if you can learn how to paint, you can do that forever. You know, yeah. it's a side job or whatever. Um, but if you want to be a part of our organization and you say, you know, you want to do sales or you yeah. want to learn how to, you know, do estimating, you know, something like that, we can help coach you and show you the path to something else, which you know will help further your career. So yeah, yeah it's That's it's awesome. good. Yeah, because you know nobody wants to just go to a job, just no. you know, a nine to no. five, check in, check out. Yeah. So we try to create an environment where people uh, feel good about coming. Yeah, I mean a real team and that that really resonates when you're in someone else's home mm -hmm. and you're doing this job because people want to be comfortable with having your team in their home. Yeah, and it's, you know, when, when you have a good team together and uh, they're all working together on a mm -hmm. project, it just goes better when they get along. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and exactly. It, you know, I've heard the you know, I've heard the saying before, you don't have to like the people you work with, but in my opinion it truly helps. It kinda <laughs> do, I think. Yeah, it really <laughs> helps. Yeah. So it does um, help. That's you know, true. because again we are a team, so let's say, you know, one painter is doing something and he finished his work mm -hmm. and somebody is still struggling with somebody else, he jumps in, he helps them. Yeah, and, awesome. You know, and gets through it. So yeah. Yeah. So you also are a volunteer firefighter. I am, yeah. Yeah, just add one more thing to the list. <laughs> yeah, as uh, like I said, uh, you know, I don't sleep much, but um, uh -huh. yeah, uh, I, you know, it's a funny story. When we moved to the town of Maywood, um, I didn't really know anybody, mm -hmm. and um, I thought to myself, what's a good way to kind of get you know involved in the community? And I saw a sign that said, "Looking for volunteers," and. So we, uh, so I, so I signed up and went through the schooling and, and did awesome. it all. And, you know, I've made some of my best friends in the world there, you know, yeah. the last nine years that we've been there. So it's, uh, it's been great. That's yeah. great. Yeah. A way to give back. Yeah, yeah. I think that's wonderful. And you're giving back by going in and doing a great job <laughs> and getting the job done in a timely manner. So. Yeah, we try. We, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I may have to use you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, thank you so much for coming on the show, thank sharing you. with us about Wow One Day Painting. And guys, if you have a project that needs to get done and you've been putting it off, I think now's the time to get it done. So reach out to Justin, Wow One Day Painting in Bergen County and Westchester. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.